Hello, good evening friends and uh, my name is Dr. Rahul Jain. I work as Senior Consultant at Fortress Hospital Shalimar Park, Delhi and I have my clinic at Kamlanagar, uh, North Delhi. Uh, today, I will be uh, talking to you on, on the topic of uh, hypertension. Today's discussion will be on what high blood pressure is and how to prevent it. Generally, any, everyone would like to have a healthy or normal blood pressure but what exactly does it mean basically each time when the heart beats it pumps blood into the blood vessels this creates uh, pressure against the walls of the blood vessel which is called as blood pressure normally in healthy person it rises and falls throughout the day but when blood pressure remains high for a longer time and is left treated it can lead to serious health complications in general Persistent increase in the blood pressure higher than normal blood pressure is known as hypertension. High blood pressure usually develops over time. It can happen because of uh, unhealthy lifestyle choices, for example, not having regular physical activity, obesity, smoking, stress and a plethora of other factors. There are other risk factors which can also increase the risk of developing hypertension such as age. Uh, as the people get older, that can also increase the risk of developing hypertension. Uh, family history of uh, blood pressure, one or uh, more close family member with hypertension increases the patient risk of developing the condition. Excess salt intake is one of the factors. Not eating uh, enough food with potassium can increase blood pressure and risk of stroke and chronic kidney disease. Eating processed fatty food increases fats throughout the body and make the heart work harder to push uh, through the body hence causing the blood pressure to rise another uh, matter is uh, stress reacting to stress in an unhealthy way or managing stress can also increase the blood pressure moving on hypertension does not have an obvious sign and symptom which is also why it is called as a silent killer it puts people at risk for several diseases from cardiovascular problem to kidney uh, failure, stroke and even eye damage and blindness. Hence, early and accurate diagnosis is very important in management of hypertension. Measuring the blood pressure is the only way to know whether a person having high blood pressure or not. Generally, when symptoms do occur, they include morning headaches or tiredness, vision changes, buzzing in the ears, fatigue, nausea or vomiting. If the person is experiencing some of these symptoms, then one should get their blood pressure checked. Fortunately, high blood pressure can be easily diagnosed. Your blood pressure is one of the easiest and simplest diagnostic tool that can tell one uh, so much about their current and possible future health. It is usually measured with an instrument called a sphingomanometer. A blood pressure is recorded in two numbers, systolic and diastolic. Now let's try and understand what do these numbers actually mean. A healthy or normal blood pressure should be lower than 120 or 80. It can also read as 120 over 80 millimeter of mercury. Hence, here the upper number indicates systolic blood pressure which means pressure in the blood vessels when the heart contracts where, whereas the lower number indicates diastolic blood pressure means the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart rests between the beats. If the blood pressure is more than 140 by 90, then the person uh, has hypertension. If the person have BP uh, level higher than this, then he or she might be at a risk of developing serious disease. This risk can be prevented and reduced by taking steps towards a healthier lifestyle such as regular exercise, healthy diet. Uh, quitting smoking, alcohol intake, pressure monitoring, stress management and adherence to medicine, uh, medicine. If the blood pressure is successfully controlled with such lifestyle modification, then it, it might avoid delay or reduce the need for medication. So uh, let's uh, take a look at these strategies one by one. Regular exercise or physical activity exercise can be a duck free approach to lowering high blood pressure. Regular physical activity makes a person uh, heart stronger. If one has a strong and healthy heart, it can obviously pump uh, more blood with less effort. So if heart has to work less or 
to pump the force on the blood vessel will automatically uh, decrease and lower the blood pressure in in other case as we all are aware that age and weight gain are two major uh, risk factor for high bp so if the blood pressure is uh, at a desirable level that is 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury uh, then exercise can help prevent it as uh, prevent it rising as you age regular exercise also maintain helps you maintain a healthy weight which in my opinion is an important way to control blood pressure one should aim at at least 30 minutes of aerobic activity most days of the week higher blood pressure can reduce uh, by doing regular structured exercise such as brisk walking jogging or swimming uh, then comes the role of healthy diet diet also plays an important role in controlling blood pressure a diet with high intake of vegetable fruit whole grains is recommended for hypertensive people for lowering blood pressure or preventing hypertension through dietary intervention one can adopt a dietary uh, pattern such as dash diet on vegetarian diet eating less saturated fat and total fat uh, getting uh, plenty of potassium limiting the amount of sodium in the alcohol consumption dash stands for dietary approach to stop hypertension diet eating a dash diet is that rich in whole grain fruits vegetable and low fat dairy products and skims on uh, saturated fat and cholesterol can lower one's blood pressure up to uh, by up to 10 to 11 millimeter of mercury if having high blood pressure reduce sodium uh, in your diet even a small reduction in sodium in the diet can improve the heart health and reduce blood pressure by up to 5 to 6 millimeter of mercury if you have higher high blood pressure so to decrease sodium in your diet you can consider tips like uh, read the food labels if possible choose low sodium alternatives to food and beverages you normally buy eat few, fewer uh, processed foods only a small amount of sodium occurs in natural food most sodium is added during processing so you can eat natural products don't add salt just one level uh, teaspoon of salt has 2300 milligram of sodium avoiding adding salt to food avoid adding salt to food and use herbs or spices to add flavor to your food quit smoking and limit the amount of alcohol you drink stopping smoking helps your blood pressure return to normal quitting smoking can effectively reduce the your risk to heart disease and improve your overall health drinking more than moderate amount of alcohol can actually raise blood pressure by several points it can reduce the effectiveness of blood pressure medications hypertensive patients regular blood pressure monitoring always possible for the patient to visit the doctor and get their bp checked hence most often i advise patients uh, self-monitoring of their bp level self-monitoring helps a person to measure uh, their BP at different times throughout the day and over a long period of time. It also assists the doctor to get a more complete pictures of the patient blood pressure reading at different time and further helps us to better in production of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality rather than a single routine BP measurement that occurs during a clinical visit. Stress management uh, by learning how to relax and Managed stress can improve emotional and physical health and lowers blood pressure. Stress management techniques including exercising, listening to music, focusing on something calm and peaceful and of course meditation. Adhere to medicine, a medicine to lower blood pressure may be recommended by a doctor if your blood pressure is consistently high usually or above 140 by 90. Adherence to medicine is of utmost importance at it control your blood patients uh, regularly at last i would like to suggest that there is nothing more important and precious than having a fit healthy life adapting a healthy lifestyle can help us enjoy long and healthy life high blood pressure can be prevented as well as controlled in many ways keeping blood pressure in normal range is very important in preventing cardiovascular complication it is very much possible to maintain a normal blood pressure level with regular monitoring and preventive care. That is all from my side. Thank you very much.